okay let's start our topic uh, and this is addressing mode uh, we know that 8086 can perform uh, various operations or various functions on uh, different kind of data so that means microprocessor has to deal with different types of data or it has to access uh, data from different places and there can, there, there can be certain variations in the methods by which we are going to use this specific data or we are going to fetch this in specific uh, uh, information. So uh, addressing most is concerned with the ways with which we can actually fetch this data. Uh, before we uh, go and see different ways, uh, we must know that this data is formally known as operand. Operand means any data uh, or any information which is supposed to be processed by microprocessor. So these data are known as what operands. So whenever we gonna say about operand, uh, we gonna use the word operand. That means we are dealing with the data. The data may be part of instruction. Uh, for example, maybe data is directly given in the instruction. Okay, uh, it may be part of stored uh, in the memory, or maybe it's a memory slot where uh, we need to fetch this information, and it may come from some input port or. Uh, it may lead towards output port for example uh, for example we need to fetch information which is stored in the memory we fetch that specific information from memory okay and other in other uh, input is coming from input device so these two operands need to be processed and once these are processed they need to send somewhere so these values are sent to output uh, port so that means uh, we can we are actually dealing with two different type of data here one is memory operand and other one is input operand and the output uh, goes to our uh, the output uh, operand goes to the output port that means uh, we are dealing with input output port or data stored inside the memory so that thing okay let me raise first yeah that thing is basically uh, these different ways uh, in which processor can access data or can access uh, different operands are known as addressing mode. So basically addressing mode is what is different ways which are available for microprocessor by which microprocessor can fetch different operands or can access different operands. That is called addressing mode. Okay, in this slide we are dealing with data. Uh, and data can be source and as well as destination operand. So basically, we are all already aware about source operand and destination operand concept. Data can be treated as source and destination operand. Source operand, source can, operand can be immediate data. This is something we are dealing very first time. Immediate means something directly given, okay? Uh, that means it is going to be directly part of instruction and we are going to see certain examples of that particular thing uh, in today's lecture inshallah next thing date uh, source operand can be a register it may come from uh, data segment register it may come from data register it may come from index register it may come from some pointer register so it can be some internal register as well similarly uh, source operand can also come from certain memory location uh, for, for example, uh, we need to manipulate the information which is already stored in certain memory location. So we need to add, we need to fetch first that information inside the uh, microprocessor. So that means that memory location will serve as a source operand. Uh, similarly, destination operand can be a register. We, whatever the result we have, uh, we have to we have manipulated and we need to put that thing in some destination so that destination can be registered and can also be memory location interesting point is that uh, it can never be immediate data for example 
destination can never be something data because destination means you need some storage place where you will put some output but immediate data means it's already kind of input or it's an information so information uh, immediate information can never be used as a destination operand but uh, destination operand can uh, uh, can have only two options uh, either it is going to store in register or it is going to store in the memory location okay as i explained already that there can uh, there can be different ways by which we can access operands uh, so based on uh, ways uh, we need ha we have uh, some classifications on addressing modes and these are register operating at register operand addressing mode second one is immediate operand addressing mode and the third one is memory operand addressing mode so these are three major classification of addressing modes and uh, we are going to deal with them uh, turn by turn okay in this slide we are going to deal with uh, very first type of addressing mode that is register operand addressing mode uh, in that addressing mode operands are basically defined as a register for example uh, we have different various number of register and we uh, I have shown this uh, list of uh, registers for example register could be accumulator that is AX base register like PX count register CX data register CX core segment register CS stake segment register SS source index register SI so these are what uh, uh, different internal registers available in 8086 or 8088 microprocessor furthermore uh, whatever the number of register I just uh, talk about was 16 bit register uh, out of these 16 bit register these four register which are known as data register AX BX CX DX they can also be split into 8 bit parts or so basically uh, higher byte can be used as AH lower byte can be used at uh, as uh, AL similarly this theory is applicable to these four bytes so we, can, we have four different 8-bit registers available like AH BL CL DH and so on so these are basically internal registers so in register operating at operand addressing mode what happens these registers are used as basically operand for example uh, we see this which is this instruction move ax comma bx here source operand is what bx destination operand is what ax and it says whatever the information of bx it is going to get transferred inside the destination operand which is ax so uh, how how much how many bit are going to process these are basically 16 bit data transfer so uh, move ax comma bx that means whatever the 16 bit value stored inside the bx uh, will be uh, save inside or will be get copied inside ax so operation is basically copying the content of bx into ax i hope uh, i have explained it because uh, both of these operands are basically uh, what registers so that is what uh, one can clearly observe it that this instruction move ax comma bx is basically using which addressing mode register operand addressing mode since both of these operands are registers okay here we are going to take an 8-bit uh, information example for example move bh comma uh, al that means source operand is what al destination operand is what vh so now uh, whatever the information is stored inside this al it is going to get transferred inside bh so operation is about copying the content of al into the bh remember al is 8 bit register and vh is also 8 bit register so this is 8 bit data transfer information uh, which is uh, copying the least significant byte of accumulator register into the higher significant byte of uh, base register okay in this slide we are going to deal with uh, a book example 
in this example one can clearly see this is the software model of 8086 for 8088 microprocessor in which we see different internal registers are shown and this particular part is basically memory part uh, we see number of uh, memory slots here so IP and CS are very important register because it points to the physical address of instruction uh, which is stored inside the code segment so value of IP is basically uh, four times zeros and the value of CS is zero one double zero so if we want to calculate physical address how we can calculate we have to multiply CS value by 10 so if you multiply CS value by 10 that will become 0 1 0 0 and one more 0, 0 because uh, we are multiplying it by 10 and we have to add the offset which is IP here in this case instruction point and its value is what 0 0 0 so we have to simply add them uh, it's quite easy uh, calculation uh, once you add these two values so it becomes 0 1 triple 0 that means this is the physical address of next instruction which is going to execute so here we see our memory slot and this is that memory address 0 1 double 0 1 triple 0 look this instruction is furthermore written in uh, assembly language which is move ax comma bx uh, and one can clearly observe one thing which is so important about this uh, instruction move ax comma bx is basically in assembly it is just a line but in machine code it has two two different bytes uh, 8b and c3 i hope you can see it look this is one location and this is another location so these are basically two different bytes 8b c3 so this individual information or this individual instruction move ax comma vx is consuming how many bytes two bytes so uh, two bytes can never store at one memory location we know the physical address is 0 1 triple 0 which is here and it can store only one byte so one byte means 8b is stored here and c3 is stored on the next location so this uh, move ax comma vx is consuming two different bytes and which can be basically uh, seen in this two diagram in two physical addresses 0 1 double 0 1 triple 0 and 0 1 double uh, 0 1 which is the next address so once this instruction is going to execute what will happen this IP will switch by two time or it will increment by two time so uh, it will not point to this it will not point to this rather it will point to this value this value so this arrow should go here after the execution of this instruction furthermore we see it is a 16 bit operation because bx and ax are 16 bit register so what will happen whatever the value of bx bx value is what a b c d it will get transferred in ax ax value is what uh, we don't know it we it's a don't care value x x x we don't know what is shown here but we clearly uh, can see uh, the value of bx which is a b c d so after the execution what should happen uh, first of all we know that ip will increment by 2 and furthermore the value of bx will transfer here into ax so look that is happened ip value is incremented by 2 earlier it was 0 0 now it has become 0 0 2 it was pointing here but now it is pointing to this 01002 it's a next physical address uh, bx value is not changed but ax value is abcd which is which was the content of bx so uh, in this manner uh, register operand addressing mode is uh, is basically uh, working i hope i have explained it clearly okay in this slide we are going to deal with the next uh, class of addressing mode which is immediate operand addressing mode and in that addressing mode one operand should be uh, immediate value immediate value means it should be data 8 bit or 16 bit it, it should be part of instruction so this operand part or this data part is known as what immediate operand 
So this immediate value, which is directly given data, should be part of instruction and format should be like this. After the opcode of instruction, immediate operand addressing mode uh, must be mentioned inside the uh, instruction. So data is directly part of instruction. It is very important point and it will always used as a source operand. We have seen this uh, thing already in our lecture. We're going to see now example. Look, in this example, move is a mnemonic, AL is destination, which is a register, and 4-5 hex, what is it? It is not a register, it is what? It is a immediate value or direct data, which is given inside instruction as a part of instruction, and that is known as what? Immediate data or immediate value or immediate operand. And how many bits? These are 8 bits. So this is basically 8 bit operation. What will happen after this ex execution of this instruction? Once this instructions get executed, AL will get value of 4, 5. So after the execution of this instruction, what will be result of AL? AL will be equals to 4, 5 hex. I hope uh, it is clear. Uh, we can take one more example. For example, move, move VX 5062. Again, 5062 is basically what? A uh, immediate value. And this time it is a 16 bit value because it is in hexadecimal number. We see four different hexadecimal symbol here. Two, four bits, six, four bits, zero, again, four bits and five, four bits. So these are 16 bit number, which are going to uh, store inside the VX because it is a data transfer instruction move. So move VX comma 5062 that means uh, this immediate value which is 5062 it is going to BX. So after the execution of this instruction what will happen BX will be equals to 5062 hacks. I hope I have explained it. Okay, in this slide, we are going to take uh, one more book example and one can clearly see this is a software model. This is memory slot as we explained in case of uh, register operand addressing mode. Uh, we see here IP value is 00, CS value is 010. So the physical address that will be pointed by these two uh, registers are 0100. Instruction is move AX move al comma one five hacks that means one five is is basically uh, uh, eight bit information so eight bit information one five is going to get transferred inside al what is the content of al we don't know right now it is unknown but after the execution of this instruction it should be one five uh, one more thing which is important here to observe uh, this instruction move al comma one five is again two byte instruction uh, for example, I hope you can see it. these are two different locations. So not only this address, but this address is also uh, being uh, is consumed here in this uh, instruction, which is move al comma one five. So once this instruction is going to uh, going to execute, this IP will switch to this instruction because those two bytes will be consumed inside that instruction. So IP will increment by two so that it can point to 01002. Uh, so let's see what happens. We can clearly see here IP is changed by two. It is incremented by two. It, is, it was 000. So now it has become 02. Uh, this is the next physical address which is pointing by uh, the uh, by by the uh, IP and the CS. These two bytes are consumed already. So this is the next instruction in the code segment. Furthermore, the effect of the instruction, which was move a move al comma one five hacks. So now one five is moved in the lower part or the lower byte of ax register. So uh, in this banner, this immediate addressing mode is working. Okay, that's it from this lecture. I hope. Uh, we have covered a significant portion of uh, addressing mode and you have understand it. We have covered two different types which are uh, register operand addressing mode and immediate operand addressing mode. So these two operands are already covered here and we're going to see memory operand addressing mode in coming lecture. Uh, if you have got any questions or queries, please try to note them, note them down and we will be dealing 
those queries in online session. Thank you so much for listening.